about 45 seconds to go to the start of the 15 lap Osram Saloon race here at Crystal Palace for the Iberia Airlines Trophy and there in pole position car number 83 is that of Mike Crabtree in the RS 1600 Ford Escort. Next to him in the two and a half litre Vauxhall Viva GT is that of Jerry Marshall completing the front rank the big nearly six litre Chevrolet Camaro of Martin Thomas but in the second rank look at car number 82 Norman Abbott that looks like a Ford Escort uh, but it has a rear mounted Hewlett Grand Prix five speed gearbox a very special 1600 cc engine in front of it and the flag is going up now Graham White is lifting it and a real blazer of a start from Mike Crabtree Norman Abbott sprints through and takes the front off Jerry Marshall's Vauxhall Norman Adam clipped the front of Jerry Marshall's Vauxhall fiberglass in the front, but it's Martin Thomas leading in the Chevrolet from Mike Crabtree. Burley determined Jerry Marshall refuses to say die and presses on in third position with part of his car missing. Martin Thomas in the Chevrolet Camaro leads on lap one as they go down to the fastest part of the course to the left of the magnificent Crystal Palace swimming pool. right-hander at South Tower Corner. And it's the big 5.7-litre Chevrolet Camaro with Mike Crabtree in the Ford Escort RS 1600 and Jerry Marshall, both trying to get through as they come through at the top straight. Lap one completed, 14 laps to go. Martin Thomas leads and up into second position temporarily goes Jerry Marshall ahead of Mike Tra Crabtree. And Martin and 79 there in trouble is the car of Robin Gray. That's got a three litre V8 Martin engine in it. And he's stuck right in the middle of the fastest part of the course as he gets away and pulls off just in time. Through come the leaders, Martin Thomas, Mike Crabtree up into second place and down into third position in a weaving Vauxhall Viva goes Jerry Marshall. There he is. That's the team dealer Vauxhall car with the Leidenstein engine in front, Leidenstein tune. Jerry Marshall looks to be dropping back a bit. Martin Thomas, of course, has got a big advantage over Crabtree because that big 5.7-litre V8 engine has tremendous torque and power. This is the end of lap two. 13 laps to go. Thomas in the Chevrolet leads Crabtree in the four. Jerry Marshall definitely dropping back. In third position, it's John by Jonathan Buncombe, and in fifth position, it's Martin Birain. Buncombe is fourth, not third. There's Marshall in the Vauxhall. Next round is Jonathan Buncombe in the Mini. Then Martin Birain, car number 77, the big Ford Boss Mustang. That's another five-litre V8 car, and there come the leaders, lap three. Martin Thomas, Mike Crabtree, Marshall in the Vauxhall. The gap is increasing between the Ford Escort RS 1600 and Mike Crabtree in second position and Jerry Marshall, the third place man. And Mike Crabtree's going to have a heck of a job to get past Martin Thomas here. And the trouble that, uh, with car number 82, Norman Abbott, he's out of the race with a broken radiator and Jerry Marshall is fighting back on the top straight at North Tower Crescent. Still hardly anything in it between the first and third man. Look at them, nose to toe. Marshall has closed right up on Mike Crabtree. Mike Crabtree is right on the boot lid of Martin Thomas's Chevrolet Camaro. difficult to get past uh, at Crystal Palace. It's a very tight natury circuit. Braking is all important. Positioning is all important too. And so, going round the right hander and ramp bend on that four in this 15 lap race it is still Martin Thomas 31 years old from Bigglesway. The man has been driving for some 10 years. Broke a half shaft in the Chevrolet in practice. 
got it replaced. And Marshall taking to the grass as he comes up into the top street, completing lap four. Jerry Marshall challenging, but it's still Martin Thomas, Mike Crabtree, Jerry Marshall. Then a long gap. Martin Berain goes through in fourth place. Jonathan Buncombe is in fifth place in the leading mini. And in sixth position, it's Ian Bax in another mini, followed by Dick Ferris in yet another mini. There are the three leaders. Jerry Marshall driving in his usual spirited manner. Burley, Jerry Marshall, a terrific extrovert, smokes cigars and almost eats them as well. And now, Martin Thomas down into the bottom straight, fastest part of the course. Mike Crabtree behind him in second place. Jerry Marshall in the Vauxhall, round the right hand of ramp, uphill now. Very into the very tricky section of Maxim Rise, the left and the right positioning him for South Tower before coming into the top straight for the fifth time in 15 laps. And still there, absolutely nose to tail, and it is Thomas, Crabtree and Marshall, and between the three of them there is four-fifths of a second with one-third of the race distance completed. Now the lap record, all-time lap here is held by Dave Brody in a saloon car, 57.6 miles a second, that's 86.9 miles an hour. Brody isn't here today, he's driving on the Paul Ricard circuit in France. And I'm going to start the stopwatch and we'll see how Martin Thomas's next lap time compares with the lap record, 57.6 held by Dave Brody. Thomas leads and seems to be consolidating his grip on the race on this, the sixth lap as he comes up to Maxim Rise. And South Tower, the right-hander. Jerry Marshall right up, and they're together again. It's very interesting that Martin Thomas loses time on cornering on that tricky part of the circuit, pulls away on this, the fast part, and as I said before, it's going to be a very, very determined Mike Crabtree or Jerry Marshall if they can get past Martin Thomas. They've still got some time left to do it. around and they've been on this lap for just under 30 seconds lap record Dave Brody 57.6 and the yellow flag means watch it ahead around the right hander and ramp seems to be all clear as they're going up to Maxim Rise and South Tower and we suspect it's Bob Fox's car which has spun off there it is that's what they were warning them about Bob Fox's Mini out of the race, and there is Bob Fox himself, and through into second place goes Jerry Marshall. Over the line goes Martin Thomas, and Jerry Marshall has moved the Vauxhall Viva up into second position, and Martin Thomas's lap time, 59 seconds, and that is a speed around Crystal Palace in a saloon car of 84.8 miles an hour. Darn nearly 85 miles an hour, not top speed, the lap speed. And there's Martin Thomas. Jerry Marshall is now pulling away from Mike Crabtree. He's got past one. Can he get ahead of the other? He's still got eight laps to do it. But Mike Crabtree isn't giving up either. He's closing up again on Jerry Marshall in the Vauxhall Viva GT with a 2.5-litre fuel-injected engine. And now the blue flag is being waved, and that means move over. But heaven knows who they're waving it at. Ah, oh, that's who they're waving it at, the Mini. And there's Jerry Marshall, 74, in second place with Formula One racing tyres on his car, incidentally. Martin Thomas over the line, Jerry Marshall over the line, and Crabtree's going to take Marshall, and he does it. Mike Crabtree goes back into second position on the ninth lap. Martin Birain is still bombing along in fourth position. Jonathan Buncombe and Dick Ferris in fifth and sixth positions in their minis behind them. And as you can see, tail enders are being lapped to the left, lapped to the right, lapped anyway, as long as you can get past them. And now it is still Thomas Crabtree and Jerry Marshall. First, second and third. Jerry Marshall's lost his second position. This race, of course, is one of the many this season for the Osram Saloon Car Championship. In this event, the 
trophy is the Iberia Trophy and Crabtree is challenging for the lead and Marshall is challenging for second. What a race this is, over the line. Martin Thomas, Mike Crabtree, Jerry Marshall and the lap speed has gone down a bit, 60 seconds. Not surprising because they were lapping tail enders in the process and slowing each other up. Martin Moraine all alone in the fourth position in the Boss Mustang. In fifth position, all alone, is Jonathan Buckham. And then in sixth position behind him, in a mini, like Buckham, is Ian Banks. The leaders, one, two, three, and it is still Thomas in the Chevrolet Camaro. Crabtree in the RS1600 Ford Escort of that man. Jerry Marshall in the 2.5 litre Vauxhall Viva GT. And between the first and the third, one second only. The man, startled man who's about to be lapped is Robin Gray, the man who got back into the race in the Ford Escort with the three-litre V8 Martin engine. He's going to have the first three blasting past him any second now. It's Thomas Crabtree and Jerry Marshall. Thomas is past Gray. Crabtree is past Gray. Is Gray going to inadvertently hold up Jerry Marshall? Martin Virain is still in fourth position in the Boss Mustang. Challenging Thomas. And this is lap 10. Five laps to go. And as they come out of the glade and down into Park Curve and New Link, Mike Crabtree is right in the slipstream, right on the boot lid of Martin Thomas's big 5.7 litre V8 Chevrolet Camaro. tells you incidentally how quickly David Brody was going when you consider that the lap record according to my unofficial hand timing has not yet been equaled let alone beat Thomas weaving under braking as he goes into the right hander at South Tower and now they're all there in line abreast as they come down the street Marty Thomas punches away on superior acceleration Crabtree is still second, Marshall is still third, Robin Gray has been lapped well and truly by all three of them. Martin Virain is the full length of the finishing straight behind them, and Martin Thomas has the infantry to show the way he's going with his winking turn indicator. Jonathan Buncom is still in fifth position, Ian Max in the mini is still in sixth place. This is lap 12 in this scorcher of a race at Crystal Palace here today. Perfect weather conditions. Nice warm track to warm up the tyres, racing tyres. They're slicks, no tread pattern on them at all. In fashion with Formula 1, 2 and 3 racing tyres. And Crabtree looks as though he's got a hook into the rear bumper of Thomas's car. So close is he to him as they come round the right-hander again at South Tower. Into the top straight again to complete lap 12 and start lap 13 in this 15-lap race for the Osram Trophy, for the Iberia Trophy. Martin Thomas. And Mike Crabtree is indulging in a little gamesmanship. He has his headlights on, blazing into the rear mirror of Martin Thomas's Chevrolet just to remind him all the time, as if he didn't know, that Crabtree is right behind him. Now you're going to see a bit of passing as the first, second and third men approaching ramp men and coming up to Maxim Rise are going to take and lap a mini on their way to complete their 13th lap out of 15. Good marshalling. There's the blue flag being waved to tell the mini, which incidentally is that of Ian Max. No, it isn't. It's that of John Watts and, my goodness, through into the lead goes Crabtree. Fantastic! Mike Crabtree has taken the lead and Martin Thomas is going to take that line down. He's got his foot absolutely flat on the boards. Every mouse power in that engine. And Crabtree trying to retake the lead and Crabtree does it. Mike Crabtree for the second time in half an hour has taken the lead from Martin Thomas and Jerry Marshall is still there right behind them. This is that 14 in a 15 that race. Still Crabtree, Thomas going through on the bottom straight, and he does it, Thomas and Brad Bend, but there's still a back, Thomas has lost it and he's out, spin, 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 Martin Thomas loses it, he's overcooked it, and now it's a battle between Mike Crabtree in the RS1600 Ford Escort and that car.
car, Jerry Marshall. And, and Crabtree's trying very hard indeed. Nearly lost it there at the right-hander at South Tower. Into the last lap. And I don't think even Jerry Marshall, determined as he is, can take back the lead that Mike Crabtree has on this the last lap. Let alone pass it. There is Marshall, who is going to be second in the Vauxhall Viva GT. He practiced in one of the new Firenzas, incidentally, but it only rolled a wheel for the first time yesterday, was slower than the Viva in practice, and Marshall decided to turn out in his older car. And now Crabtree is approaching the spot where Martin Thomas went off on the previous lap. And Crabtree is leading on the last lap. Martin Thomas well and truly out of it. Crabtree through into Maxim Rise on the 15th lap, out of 15. Lights ablaze in the John Wilmet Group RS 1600 Ford Escort. And over the line to a superb victory goes Mike Crabtree, followed by a cheerful Jerry Marshall in a rather bent beaver with the front corner nipped off it. And then in third position, a long way back the full length Staying with the V8 engine. A superb race.